Hey, it's Project High Rise. It's one of my guilt games because I got a code for this game back when it was new and that was uh, two years ago. Whoops. But yeah, they just put out the Project High Rise uh, Architect Edition, I think it's called, uh, which is basically it coming out on all the different consoles and not just being a Steam exclusive anymore. So what a time for me to finally get around to the Steam version now. I've been reminded about it. I always feel bad about that, but games come in faster than they can ever be played, which is a bummer. Let's get in there. 300 North Waybush Avenue. Sure, I'll accept that. Difficulty level? Medium? Start with a small amount of money. The economy is solid, but costs will be higher and revenues lower than in standard mode. Medium's not standard? Easy is standard mode? Start with a good amount of money. The economy is solid and tenants easy to find. Start on a regular sized empty lot. So medium is harder. It's weird they call it standard. I don't know. I guess I'll do easy since they called that standard mode. And this is unlimited cash and resources. It's creative mode, I guess. Advanced settings, random events. Oh, so you can turn on and off random events, and then you can also have a seed that affects the playthrough. That's interesting. Uh, let's go. <clears throat> so this is a, a simulator, but running a high-rise, if that wasn't immediately obvious. We seem to have already started. I got two people already. Population- oh, there they are. Alright. My high-rise is currently this one floor and a basement. Uh, proof of concept. Daily rent goal is $1,000. Yesterday's rent was $0. Shit. You can take on additional contracts to earn some cash. Show me. Hello there. I just wanted to remind you about contracts from the city. Remind me? Oh, I don't even know what's happening yet. They're a great way to earn extra cash while also helping our city. You start out with one active contract. To sign an additional contract, find a button on the bottom bar that looks like this. Alright. There it is. Take on city contracts to boost your bottom line. You can have up to two contracts live at any given time. Alright. This one's already here, which is to get a daily rent goal of 1,000. Let's see. The city's Department of Planning and Development wants to encourage small landlords to improve their buildings, reach daily rent revenues of $1,000 to be awarded a neighborhood development grant. So we'll get 10 buzz and 500 completion if we can get this done. There's no time limit as far as I can tell and no cost to me, so it's just like a bonus. Let's see. The Department of Planning and Development wants to ensure that the city commercial tax base is, div is diversified and not overly dependent on any one sector succeeding or vulnerable should, uh, should it collapse. To that end, they'd like you to move in a diverse group of 16 small offices. A diverse group of 16 small offices. Okay. They'll pay me 500 now which is supposed to pay for me doing the job or in incentivize me to do the job and then I'll get a thousand when I'm done completely. I have 10,000 right now, so it's not, it isn't like huge effects, but I gained five influence, which is different from buzz evidently. The Department of Housing would like you to increase the stock of housing available in the city for newcomers in town. They think studio apartments are best for that. Construct 10 of them and they'll be grateful. The question is, is it easier to have 16 small offices or, or 10 studio apartments? Because, same amount of money. This one gives 5 influence, this one doesn't. Let's do offices? So now I can't do these other things till I get rid of these first two. Okay. This is a new one. Oh, I could have scrolled. Whoops. A bit of variety. A uh, city recently took a survey of commuters, and a major gripe seems to be a lack of diversity, uh, diversity for food offerings. Can you help out by adding a place that serves breakfast, a place that serves lunch, and a place that serves coffee? Yeah, I gotta deal with the other things first, though. Okay. Same costs. It's always the same reward. There's an area around your building that, it, 
The area around your building is a bit of a retail desert. There isn't much activity, and the city thinks that the neighborhood is ripe for further development. To see if they're right, they'd like you to build four small stores to test the waters. So if I, if I start doing all these tasks, I'm going to have like a super building. My high rise is just going to have everything in it. It's going to have people living in it. It's going to have offices for office work. It's going to have retail and food. That's a crazy idea. Uh, that's the type of thing... For me, that's like a cyberpunk idea because it's so foreign to me because I've always lived in like... Like a... I'm, what do I just lose? I just forget the word? Suburban. I've always lived in suburban envir environments and stuff. But there probably are parts of the world, like in New York or whatever, where you're just like, yeah, we'll take the elevator to this floor where there's a restaurant or something. And I'm like, what? No, what? You go to other buildings to go to other things. That's how buildings work. Every building is its own thing in my head. <laughs> All right, let's construct things. Add more floor pieces. So this is like a whole floor, right? What is this? Unit report, wiring closet. Used to route electrical, phone, and cable TV conduits between floors. Operating costs, negative 10 per day. Happiness levels. Profitability, Oh, I suck. Off. Utilities, okay. Construction grid. Uh, did I skip the tutorial somehow, I wonder? Because I don't actually know what's happening right now. Uh, let's construct... Offices. Yeah, at least office tenants. That's apartment, retail, and restaurants. Okay, so let's do some small offices. That's a small office size, okay. I need to plan ahead a little bit, right? For like how people are gonna get up here. Or down. Oh wait, that's the ground floor. So they can always get up, already get up and down over there. Let's start with an office over here. Oh, wait, that's where the stairwell is. I should put the stairs there. Stairs are the cheap way to connect floors, but tenants don't like to walk more than a few floors. Ah. Maybe just have stairs going down to the basement, but then have an elevator going up after that, but it's gonna have, it's gonna cost more per day. Elevators connect up different floors. Start a new elevator shaft on the ground floor and extend it up or down. Yeah. Let's put the elevator over here. By the by this door on this side, I guess. There we go. This seems reasonable to me. And maybe add an entire floor up here. Boom. Dragged it. I assume these will take time to craft. Like, I can't just, like, plonk a office right up here right now no yeah they have to build that so those guys oh those guys build that stuff they just say destination unreachable your building staff can't get where they need to go it seems you've assigned them a task on a floor that is not connected by stairs or elevators okay close do i build the elevator now i thought i'd build the floor first i guess you just have to build the elevator and plan that accordingly or is it that... I had to make the floor, though. So I guess you make the floor, but then you say to put the elevator up on that floor, and then they can continue accordingly. I'm gonna need a fair bit of space. Because, uh... That's a lot of... That's a lot of offices I'm promising to make. Alright. Just plonk a few of these down. I need to start making money, after all. You just allocated empty space for rent. Make sure to click on it and set it to be advertised for rent so that you can find a tenant. Oh shit, that's important. Okay, that's relatively important. I'm gonna start putting them here because apparently it's gonna take a long time for those floors to get built. All right. I can, am I choosing what, to, there are four potential tenants of this type. You need a greater variety of small restaurants in order to get a legal office, and you need a ver variety of cafes and one star of prestige to get creative offices. All I have is insurance and accounting. Oh god, there's even more options. Oh, these guys pay better rent, and they want to be- they want to move in. Get that guy. Boom. Get accounting offices? Everybody hates me. Cool. 
Needs a great variety of food court restaurants. Huh. So none of them are even an option. Accounting it is. You need an electrical line. Expects copy services. Copy services? Did the other guy expect copy services? I didn't even check. Satisfaction is happy. They like, they like me. Somehow. See, in the video games, the fake people like me. Needs an electrical line. You have an electrical line, right? I probably have to actually make it, don't I? Connect up electricity, phone lines, and other utilities. Okay. How? <laughs> uh, I lost where I pressed that. There it is. Yes. Build. Build. Drag? No. Can't tell if you're connected or not, honestly. Oh. Wiring closets. That's where you put, yeah, you put the wiring closets over there. So let's have one up here. Seems like I should just have one attached to this floor. It seems like it makes sense. Transformers adds additional electrical connections to your building. 50, 150. So I guess I'll add electrical lines. I mean, you probably need electrical lines attaching to the... to the, uh... the elevator, right? That would make sense. I'm just burning through my cash now while blindly trying to figure out how skyscrapers work. Oh, yeah. Although by skyscraper, I mean third three-story building. Really blowing my mind here. Phone lines. Cable TV, water, gas. This is where we get to start thinking about this stuff, right? It's probably why you want to have specialized floors where different things have different stuff, because, like, stuff like gas you use for, like, cooking, but that's good for, like, studio apartments more so than, uh, somebody's office. So you'd have, you'd have floor by floor planning at that point. Isn't this interesting? Also, this goes too slowly, I'm pretty sure. Let's just go, let's go fast. Oh. Going a bit faster, huh? I'm sure there's no potential downsides of running in fast forward speed. Anyway. They want to move in. They don't want to move in. Yeah. I should probably just get them anyway. Expects copy services. I'll figure out how to make them happy afterwards. Let's just get them to come in first. So I can make rent. There we go. Maybe I can build copy services. Build services to support your building's tenants. Cool. Uh, apartment dwellers, offices. Courier services. Office supply. Janitorial. Bottled water. Copy services. Place now, negative 300. Makes one copy center. Makes one memo into many. Cool. 50 upkeep per day. Needs an electrical line. Ah. Oh no, you spent an ungodly amount of money while making none. It's almost as if we're building a building. All right. Cool. Uh, close. Copy services are gonna be in the basement, bro. Deal with it. Is that what I'm gonna do here? Will they even be able to access this room? I'm not totally sure, honestly. I'll put it by the elevator. That'll be nice. That'll be a nice thing for all the future people, right? There, now there's copy services. Get over it. Oh, so many other services. We'll add those over time. I'm focusing on my office workers right now. There we go. I need to wrench you guys out. The you guys won't move in until I have more food court restaurants. Yeah, good luck. So I can write it to Hoenn Associates. Who knew so many people would be happy to associate with such a hoe? Uh, so that's more office floors. Hey, look at people actually working in here. Okay, so I need to- I need to- I need a restaurant or food court or something. Let's see. That's just another example of, uh... Placing empty restaurant space. What am I clicking? Is that the restaurant?
Okay, yeah. I just, I was like, I was reading this bottom corner. I'm like, what's happening down there? But I think it was just additional, somewhat excessive information. University easy rolls, Midtown wraps, and City View easy rolls. Everyone's into rolls and wraps. And donuts. Hmm. We don't meet the requirement. Oh, we need prestige to have. <laughs> we can only have a cafe with proper prestige. I'm just gonna go with whoever pays me the most. Boom. I should have read what they expected of me. I didn't read that. That was a bad thing of me to do. Uh. Happiness. I'd like to get some lunch, but where? What? Oh, Melvin says that. Well, congrats, Melvin. Now you have a lunch place. Are you happy? Oops. Too bad there's no dinner spots here. I'd like to get lunch, but where? I just love to have. Yeah. Oh God, it's the next day already. Okay. Look, we're making we're making money. We can do this. And also, the camera has panned over here. Let's get back. I think I clicked on that person, and it kind of sent me on a trip. You don't need anything, right? You're good. Maybe slow down with the fast forward a little bit, and actually assign things again before I let it just go rocketing off. So we've maximized our insurance offices, tenants, but now I can get accounting offices. No, I can't. Need a variety of food court restaurants. Not just some, but variety. Legal offices, though. Uh, they're cool. They just need an electrical line and a phone line. I can give you a phone line. Which ones you the you, you pays the best? It's the 175. Boom. I'll run you a phone line right now, buddy. If I can. A phone. There we go. You good? I think that's all I needed. There, now you got a phone line. I nailed it. All right, so let's let's add more eating options because that's apparently something we're picky about today. There we go. Do a donut shop because people like donuts. Let's do Mary's Donuts. They need an electrical line and a water pump, a water pipe hookup. And they like high traffic. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> Meanwhile, you guys need... Yeah, you just need electrical lines. So you, the water pump's unusual to the donut shop, apparently. The other place serves rolls, so let's do the wraps place. Now that's a variety. You have two whole options and then not food, known as donuts. So that's like... Variety. Oh, I... Pumping closets, that's separate. Well, it's a good thing for me that I've got this other thing over here. Uh... Shit. <laughs> How am I going to connect all these floors plumbing to each other? And just add them outside the building? That'd be nice. That might be an option, right? Uh, construct floor. There we go, we'll just get wider. That'll solve all my problems. Uh, I get lost in this menu a little bit. And now I can add plumbing closets. There we go. Apparently I didn't have to have one on the bottom floor. Good to know. And now that's there. Where is... That's the donut place, right? So I need to run water to that. There we go. Now they have water. They're the only people in the entire building that have water. I hope donuts were worth it. Fast forward. I'm sure it'll work out great. These places don't have... You don't have a phone line? I thought you had a phone line. Oh no. Have I made, have I made a mistake? Do I need to run it to the middle of the building correctly? What does this mean? Uh, something has displeased one of your tenants. Now they're less satisfied with renting space in your, uh, in your tower than they were before this happened. Click on any tenant to learn more about what you can do to improve their satisfaction with your building. Okay. This tenant's considering moving out. Oh shit. Is it not enough phone switchboards in the building? How do I make... Oh. Uh, do I click down here with it? Oh god. This, this is a... Switchboards are big, evidently. You can't afford this. Oh god, it's really expensive to build that one. Let's do a little baby one. Okay. There you go. Now phones are good. Calm down. I made a super phone thing. I'm working on it. Listen, I don't understand how buildings work, so I'm improvising. 
that uh not as good as excuses you might hope but uh see so yeah, i don't need to make i had a water switchboard probably yeah i actually do look at it up there oh they're gonna move out i'm fixing it bro i just need those guys to like hit it with a hammer so it's real now or is it already real there did, did i fix it they're gonna move out quick hit him with a hammer so it works but did you do anything they just kind of walked in that general direction like as if that solved the problem. These poor employees, they're the only people that have to use the stairs in the entire building. Listen, it came pre-built as being annoying. Uh, needs a water pipe hookup and electrical line. Those things are both true already, right? So, hey, the satisfaction says it's going up. Oh, there it goes. What an angry face. It sticks around for a while. It makes me all self-conscious and confused and scared. I want my people to like me. I'm just gonna preemptively add gas down here. There we go. That'll probably be necessary later. Let's just be ready for that. More floor. Hooray. More floor. Incredibly expensive amount of uh, money being consumed there. Cool. But I've got an elevator. These are tiny floors. It's got like three whole businesses in the entire floor. Add floor pieces that extend beyond the supporting floor below. This kind of floor can extend to the side of the building up to four tiles left or right. And it's only kind of terrifying because it, you know, you have to deal with the fact that it's just expanding out somehow. I've always felt weird about floors that just expand in size somehow. It spooks me. Do I need to get more staff, probably? A maintenance officer fixes uh, broken things. That's probably going to be necessary, ultimately. Let's see, so I have four insurance agents. I need all these other agents here. So, it, forget all the other objectives. I'm going to spend all this time just trying to figure out how to do this one objective, where I get this many people all set up. Alright, let's get more offices in here. I have to finish building the floor first. Well, that means it's time to watch the weird ant people move fast. That guy did a really good job building an elevator out of a with a hammer. Well, which is definitely a tool you use when building elevators. Look at him go. Look at him go. All right, back to office spaces. <laughs> Click it better. Let's see. 150. Always the 150s. I need I need so many accounting offices, you guys. Come on. And the accountants expect courier services and copy services, electrical and phone. It's like playing Viva Piñata. All right. Needy bastards. Okay, so, uh, that, that's the one. Phone. Oh, phone and electrical are the same one, right? Uh, horizontal connection. Oh, it's wiring closet, whoops. <laughs> Those are connections now. That's all good. Why are you saying you don't have a... What's going on? Not enough electrical transformers in the building. Oh, crap. That's probably true. Uh, I better add electrical transformers, I guess. In different parts of the building, because they're not going to fit it there. Unless I want to add more basements. I bet I can do that. Boom. There's going to be so many transformers down there. Please don't move out and get mad at me. I got. I'm working on it. I don't know. I feel like putting the transformers in the basement makes sense, and putting these in the upstairs floors is... Places people are seems like a better thing. People would like more, but I don't know how people's brains work. Y'all are crazy. You also want courier services. Where was the services? Services that support tenants. Uh, courier services. Plonk you somewhere. Right there. There you go. Now that's fixed. I should have read what you needed. Crap. I didn't read what they needed. 
Electrical line, that's fine. I can do that. I am perfectly capable of such a thing. And that whole floor is gonna re require electrical anyway, because it's gonna be even more office tenants. You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't finish building that, huh? Is that what I'm supposed to take away from that? You didn't, you didn't finish building that? That's cool, I guess. It's fine. Legal offices. Courier services, copy. You're all, you're fine. Oh, the one that doesn't pay as much rent doesn't want a phone line. Or doesn't expect a phone line anyway. You know what, though, buddy? I'll pay for that phone line. Because you're worth it. Supposedly. There you go, buddy. The second person in the entire building who wants a phone, evidently. Oh, wait, no. All these guys want a phone. That's, that's why the game's freaking out. I'm... No, don't move out. There's gonna be definitely a phone line. We're fine. Uh, you guys need power? Uh, is the basement set up at all? Y'all didn't do the basement. That was like the thing I told you to do and you didn't do it. You, did you consider doing that? Build a menu to make your tower, power, your, your tower dwellers happier? Vending machines, shoe shine station, what the fuck? Is this the 20s? Is this the Witcher? <laughs> Who are these aliens that are like, I want to get my shoes shined. Come here, bus boy. I don't, I don't understand this culture. Which thing is being highlighted? You're orange for a reason, right? Because I'm supposed to like do something with you? Oh, right. There should be stairs connecting this. You poor workers are just going to get stairs all the time. Because I just, I don't value you, as it turns out. Uh, sorry. Probably gonna need a lot of electrical connections, so let's just plunk one of these down here. And just enjoy that. Seems to make sense to skip to a big one. Alright, stop getting mad at me. Listen, my workers work slow. It's not my fault that there's only, like, two of them. It's definitely my my fault. Uh, how do I make more people? Uh... Offices for building consultants, which is different from other offices. Aesthetics, politics, politics. How do I hire people? I, I think I've seen it before and I've lost it. Oh, building staff. The mover's office is necessary to coordinate the relocation of tenants with your built within your building. Mine is 100 per day. A maintenance officer? God damn. Ah! Jesus. That was so loud. <laughs> <laughs> that was out of nowhere. I was in the middle of reading something and it just a way too loud sound played <laughs> that came out of nowhere. You completed proof of concept. Apparently I'm making enough money a day, I guess. Oh boy, let's turn the volume down a little bit. The game's not very loud and that was very loud. Oh. Total looks Yeah, I've made a total of $500 while spending 7,000. Oh yeah. It makes sense, though. I'm trying to scale up. Oh god, I'm losing a thousand a day. I'm fucked. I'm totally fucked. I don't think anyone's moved out right now, right? Everyone stayed. They're reasonably happy, and no one has a big complaint on the screen. We like being in a high-traffic area. We're gaining more regular customers. Cool. So everyone's currently happy with me. Or okay with me, or something. But I can't, uh... Yeah, I lose a thousand dollars a day. Whoops. Uh, looking at that, the contracts really seem like they aren't, aren't, aren't very important. Because they seem to be incredibly minor. Uh, this will give me a thousand eventually. Let's see. The city wants more people in this part of town. Increase your building's population to 50. I mean, that'll happen eventually on its own, right? Sure, let's sign that one. I like having five hundred, another five hundred dollars that it will just barely offset how much I'm going to lose today while I exist. Is that because of my services and everything? My operating, so I, I make thirteen hundred. My my operating costs are twenty three hundred. Fine tune rent rates. I'm gonna have to charge you guys a bit more, you know. You can lower them to make them happier, raise them to get more cash. I'm gonna have to raise y'all's rent a bit, because this entire place is gonna be obliterated. 
Are you sure you want to adjust the global rates? They'll be locked for another 48 hours. Boom, go for it. We'll see how utterly doomed I get when everyone gets mad at me. It didn't actually stay here. Everyone's gonna be mad at me now for 48 hours. Fast forward, because I don't think I can do anything. I'm gonna be running out of money. Yeah, have I maximized? I've not maximized my office spaces yet. So let's build one more real quick. And I should make you a creatives if I can. The space is already occupied. Oh, I did right click first, okay. Creative offices, what do you want? Electrical, phone line, oh, an office supply store. Screw you, I'm not building new things right now. I'm about to, I'm about to lose this whole building. I'm already, I'm already doomed. Uh, phone line and electrical service. Yeah, that's fine, that's easy, I can do those things. I already did do those things, isn't that convenient? Boom, move in, buddy. That'll slightly offset how much money I'm losing, but not really. <laughs> Hooray. How much do you guys pay? So you were only- you guys only pay me like a hundred each. Rent is too high, we should be playing, paying less. I'm glad you think that. You know what I would like to do? Not go out of business. So, we all gotta share the problems today. <laughs> Oh, I'm screwed. My my money lost is so much higher. Oh, hey, zoom out. I found it. That's probably really relevant for one how tall this thing can get eventually. Yeah, I'm just scrolling. Is the sky still changing color? I think it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, now I gotta get myself back out of there. There we go. Those are the supports down there. I'm learning things. Is that the bedrock? Oh, you can zoom way the hell in. Like, more than the art style really supports. <laughs> wow, these people look like they're happy to work here. Is it the courier? Or is it, that's the copy service, isn't it? Whoa, how many people work at the copy service? The copy center has four employees? That's too many employees. They can't have that many copies to make. They're only serving like 12 offices. There should be one employee there. Holy crap. Oh my god. Yeah, you also have a bunch of employees, don't you? The courier. Yeah, you have four employees. I don't care. No. What? I think I have ten offices total. They, and they need, between them, they, need, they have four couriers and four copy makers? No wonder we're losing out the ass. This, this doesn't scale. I didn't control that. Y'all's is crazy. Private investigator. Ooh. We got 2300 and lost 2500. That's almost a net gain. It's not. <laughs> it's definitely not, but it's smaller. See, now it's only a negative 390. Good job, me. I've almost figured out how to not lose. Uh, unfortunately, if I add another building, I think that just adds daily cost, right? But don't floors just add to the overall cost, basically? Things are going well. Things are going really well. Can I make it go... Does that make it go faster? No, I think that's the, fast, the fastest the game goes at. Well, they're not currently angry, I mean, considering moving out, right? They're just getting less happy. We did not turn a profit yesterday. There are too few customers or too much competition. Are you sure? I think you're not turning a profit because I turned your rent up so that it's higher than your revenue. We had 11 customers yesterday. Two customers yesterday. Maybe they just don't care about bo donuts. You, you had two customers. Anyway, this has been uh, Project High Rise. It really just kind of keeps going like this. That's the kind of the genre is you just you keep scaling and trying to make the numbers not angry at you. Uh, if you want to check this game out, there's a link in the description to the Steam page, but also it recently launched, I believe, on like everything. I think it might be on Switch, PS4, and Xbox One now or something like that. I think it's called the Architects Edition. Uh, thanks for watching like always guys, and thanks to the, uh, to the, the developers for sending the code to me two years ago. Uh, and I'll see you next time.